Hi everyone, welcome to day 32 of my 100 day challenge. Today we'll be solving one of the SQL question asked in OYO, Make My Trip, and Netflix. So let's see the question. So the question says, write a SQL query to find the median salary from the below given employee table. If we add one more record with the salary 91,000, what will be the median? Now I can see we have the table with all this column, which is ID, name, salary, and the manager ID. And uh, we have so far nine records with each employee ID with their salary and other informations. Now we need to find out the median of the salary. So to find out the median of salary, first thing that we usually do is that we need to order this data by this salary in ascending because we need to find out the median for this salary. So first we will do order by by ascending. So I'm just going to do an order by here to show you like what is going to our approach. So I will do order by small to largest. Now once you do the order by then the median record is the middle record is going to the median if it is an odd right so if you see we have an odd records that is total nine records we have so one two three four five six seven eight nine that means the middle record that is going to be this one so eighty five thousand is going to be our median okay for now so eighty five thousand is the median you can see we have four records here and we have four records here so that's this is our first median now what will happen if I add one more records here? Let's say if I add one more record by 91,000. Okay, now what is going to the median? So for this one, again, we will need to sort this data. So we will again go ahead and sort the data small to largest. Okay, now again, the data is sorted. So this time as we have even numbers, if you see the records, total records we have, which is 10 records we have. So that's going to be total 10 records. Now this time we need to find out the middle two records which is this one and this one you can see these are to the middle records for this two we need to find out the average so that is going to be our median so if you want to find out the median that's going to be average of this two so that's going to be like i need to do a sum sum of this 85 and 88 and i need to divide it by two so this average is going to be 86,500. so that is going to be the median so median is the mid point okay now for that median very important task is that the data must be ordered okay so let's get into our tool PSG admin 4 where I have created this a table and inserted these records and we will be writing query to solve this question okay so you can see I have the same table with all this data I have the ID name and the salary I have deleted the manager ID which, which is for no use here now I need to find out the middle right so the middle point so the median means the middle point okay so we have odd records here so far you can see we have nine records so the middle number is going to be this one right for that we need to order the data right once we order the data then we can select the middle number now if you want to check like how do we find median so that if i just give you one records like one two three four okay four ten five then six then one seven okay then eight let's say so we have a series like this okay and we need to find out the median here so to find the median the first thing is that we need to first order the data okay so that's very very important because see there is the difference between mean and median so if you see mean and median so there is a difference mean means you just need to sum everything and divide it by the number of records we have okay that's mean but if you talk about the median that is going to be the mid point of this series okay so here to find out the median what we will do first we will order this data so i will say one is the smallest then i would say two then i have three then i have i think four okay so i have one more four and i have five so then i have five then i have six then i have seven okay now i have one more six so five then six seven eight so I have one more one so I would need to add it here because both the one will come here okay so one one two three four four five six seven and I have eight okay now I will take the midpoint so midpoint to find the midpoint we need to see how many records we have so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have ten records so that means we need the middle two and then we just need to take a sum right so what I will do is that I am going to say so two to four so this two is going to be the mid two numbers so that's going to be going to be four plus four divided by four plus four divided by two so that means i need to take an average of this middle two numbers okay so our median is going to be here four four eight divided by two that's going to be four okay so this four is going to our median here in this above series okay now this is the median for the you know above series if i just add one more records maybe something like nine so that means here 9 will come after this and this time 
the middle point is going to be this one right it's an odd series so we will have a four five now here this four is going to be again the median okay so this position is going to be the median okay so this is what we need to do using sql so let's see how we can solve this problem so i'm just going to use a very simple approach window functions called row number to solve this problem okay now every one of you already know what is row number if you do not know that is totally fine you will learn it so using row number you can create a new column and you can assign a new numbers okay inside it so i would say row number and i'm going to say over now here i'm going to do order by by this salary okay so i would say order by by a salary ascending okay and though if in, even if you do not mention this ascending it's still going to work so i'm going to say sell ascending okay so i will just execute this query you will see a new column that is being created and the data is now ordered in ascending orders you can see the smallest record is coming here right now you can see here this is the middle number right so the 5 is the middle number so that means this is our median salary which is 85000 because we have at the moment we have nine records so the middle is going to be the 5 right so this is the 5 and this is the median of this this salary that we have here which is 85000 okay now we have a small series so we can see it manually here but when we will have a large data set you cannot identify it here right so it's going to be difficult so what if i use one more window functions here instead of ascending that time i am going to do descending here desc so i say descending here and i'm going to say salary descending desc okay now if i just execute this it's going to create one more window function this time the salary is going to be descending orders and that would be a new row number okay series so let's see now earlier one was like ascending so you can see it was ordered ascending and i got this row number now what i have done in descending orders right so the record that has the highest which get row number one because i'm doing a descending orders and creating a row number so the second highest get row number two so now it's opposite right so you can see these are the two row number here now we can build a relation between force and the second row number so that is what we will do to solve this problem now if you explore this both the row number you will see some relationship between them so you can see the record that has a same row number that is going to be our middle number because if you see this five it says row number five and row number five for both the row number giving me the same salary which is eighty five thousand because we have even series so that's the reason this row number and this row number they will give this 85000 that is our middle number because see if you order it in ascending and if you just start giving a row number from 1 to 3 so whatever the middle that will get the row number the middle row number okay now if you again order it in descending orders and if you start giving the row number from again the one if you see one two three so both the series will have the same middle number okay so that means this and this have the same middle number that is only possible if the data is in odd series okay we have odd series which is nine record totals okay so now i can see the difference between this and this is zero right so whenever we will have a odd a series the difference between the first row and the second row is always going to be zero so that means this is what we need okay that's the first approach now what will happen if i add one more records so the differences between them is going to be one okay so i'm going to again do that but for now first let's solve this one okay without adding a new records okay so i'm going to save it in a new series called cte maybe okay so i would say with cte audit i can simply say with audit salary okay let's give a meaningful name i could say with audit salary i'll just put it into a brackets to save this result in this cte called audit salary now from this audit salary i'm just going to select the column i need okay so what i need this time is going to be simple so first i'm going to select everything to show you okay then i would just get the what i need then i would get the middle uh, you know median of the salary okay so i am just saying select everything from this order salary so i will have everything at the moment you can see i'm having everything now next what i need is that i can simply build a relation between this and this right now this both are the column of this table which is called order salary so that is what i can do so i can go ahead and say where so i can say that where ascending salary minus this descending salary and i will have zero right so i can simply say salary ascending minus salary descending okay equals zero so this one and this one if i just minus one minus nine that's going to be eight right so that means i will not get this record 
in this query correct for this one if i just minus 2 from this uh, you know cell descending again i will have uh, you know i will not get a zero right but i will only get zero for this one because this is the middle you know records you can see it here because the middle one will have the same value in ascending as well in the descending as well same row number so 5 minus 5 is will is going to be zero so that means if i just now run this query I will have the employee that has the you know median salary which is going to be 85,000 okay so that is fine here I can simply go ahead and say salary okay and this salary I can save it as median salary okay so this will work perfectly if we have odd number of series you can see 85,000 okay now what will happen if we have an even number of series okay so I will be adding a new records the record amount is going to be by 91,000 and we will see what happens okay so to add it I'm just going to add it here so let's say I would say insert into employees employees table and uh, I will go ahead and define everything that I need so I would say values and I would add one records so first I need the ID so ID I would say 9 and name I'm just going to give a random name called Sam and salary is going to be I'm going to keep it as a 91,000 okay so now we have nine records instead of nine now we have ten records in this employees table so I can just print it I would say select everything from employees okay so same time I will insert and print the results so let's see now we have a 10 records you can see we have 10 total row number and this is the result right so we have 10 records and their salary so now we need to find out the median salary so first we will need to do order by by this column which is salary then to get the median we just need to find the middle two records and then we just need to take an average of them okay so that is going to be our median now if i just run this query this time you will see we do not have uh, you know what we had earlier so here we can see the middle one is going to be this one right five and six because we have four records here and we have you know four records here because we have 10 records now so this five and four these two records are going to be the middle uh, you know records right so what we'll do we need to find out the average of this two to get the median of the salary okay so how do we build a relation here so now here if you see the relation that we can define to get this middle two records is going to be very simple the difference between the first row and the second row is going to be one you can see here 5 and 6 the difference is going to be 1 and uh, 6 and 5 the difference is going to be 1 right so we can say it here that salary ascending minus salary descending that means if I just minus from this and this and I should be getting 1 okay either it's going to be 1 negative or it's going to be positive 1 so I can simply go ahead and say 1 here and uh, if it is a 1 that means I will have the middle records okay so these two records for these two records i will always have one or minus one okay so i can just simply go ahead and say even if i get minus one from this side okay so i can just do a apps functions here i can say apps of this okay and equals to one so that means if i get even get minus one that is going to convert it into positive one using this absolute functions and then i'm going to compare it one so this is going to work for the even number series so if it is an even number series then this function is going to work because for even number series we are getting these two records right so for now I'm just going to print both the records to show you which are the records we are getting so I would go ahead and say ups one I just run it now you see we are because it was an even series so these are to the middle and we are getting because these two have the difference between them is one so this one 5 minus 6 is minus 1 and 6 minus 5 is 1 so I have just converted all the minus 2 positive here so the difference between them is 1 okay so, so this two row is the middle uh, records right so what I can do now now simply I can take an average right so average is going to means what summing this two divided by 2 right so I can simply use the average functions here so instead of directly selecting the salary I can simply go ahead and say here get me the average salary okay so for that you can just say avg and in this salary so that's going to do the average that means it's going to do a sum then divide by two records and you get the average salary so let's run it oops i can just i need to delete it stars i don't need any more 
okay now we have got the average salary which is 86500 okay so this is the average salary so i'm just saving it as a median salary because this is the median salary okay now you can just define it something like this see if it is an odd series so automatically this difference is going to be instead of one it's going to be zero and if it is a you know even series so the difference is going to be one so you can simply say that less than equals to less than equals to less than equals to one so that means if it is one then i want this average and if it is like even zero then also i need the average because if it is a zero it is going to select only one records and if you take the average you get the same right if you just say that 85000 divide by 1 so that means it's going to be same right if you say if there's a two records then if it, you will divide by 2 and you will get the average so this is how you can get the median salary using this simple row number approach that i have used it here now this is how we have got the median salary so if you want to verify it we can go to excel and we can check 86500 was the median where we had this uh, you know even series now in the earlier we had i think 85000 was the median that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care bye bye